Hello! Hi guys! How are you doing? I hope you're all doing super, super well. I am in the middle of packing to get ready to leave for our Christmas vacation. We're just going to spend like seven to eight days with the in-laws, but they do live two hours away, so I'm packing quite a few things because it's like over a week and I need my I need my stuff. So I thought I would film a few videos while I'm packing and just kind of like chilling today. I, and I'm moving on to pack up all my hair products and I thought why not film a quick video on how I style my hair every day because it is one of the most asked questions on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram, surprisingly. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, I also wanted to mention quickly that I, I believe all of the, yeah, every single one of the products I'm using today are all from the drugstore, which is pretty handy dandy. Okay, so this is my day two hair. Yesterday when I woke up, I did a full wash, um, a full blow dry. My hair does blow dry pretty straight. Um, and I know I'm gonna get comments on it, but I am fully aware that it is looking a little rough, a little straw-like. I desperately need a trim um, because I have very damaged ends. I probably need to lob off like this much hair. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, but that is not that is not for today. So I'm just gonna show you how I kind of like touch up my hair. I like if I was having a really lazy day, I might just leave it like this. Um, I think. I sleep on it in a way that it doesn't get too like tangled and everything. I basically just like flip my hair over and kind of scoop it all up really gently into like a really loose little bun and then I just take a big clip like this guy and just kind of clip it like that and that is how I sleep every single night just because I find that it helps preserve my curls um, and keeps everything kind of like um, keeps it from getting frizzy. So that's how I sleep on it. This morning all I did was take it out of its little clip and this is pretty much how it looks when I wake up in the morning. So first things first, I am going to give it a brush through. I'm using this really old and uh, really dirty Boar Bristle hairbrush. It's from Walmart. Um, you can probably find them anywhere. I need to buy a new one so please don't judge me for how dirty this is. And I just really gently kind of brush through it all. Like so, just to kind of soften everything up and get rid of any tangles that might be there in the back. Like that. So I will also mention that I have some spots where I teased last night and I'm just gonna kind of leave them, leave them be. Uh, for today because I, I mean I don't mind the volume and when I tease I use this brush and I just really gently like take a section of it hold it up do like a little bit of teasing give it a little spray of hairspray and let it fall and that's pretty much how I do it um, I'm not going to do it today but just be aware that that is lingering under the surface so now I'm going to section off the hair just into like a top part and a bottom part Like that, it doesn't look very neat, but that doesn't really matter, it doesn't have to. So now I'm just going to kind of twist this hair up and pile it on top of my head and clip it there like so. And this whole time I've had my curling wand heating up. This is a Revlon curling wand. I just got it from Walmart, I think, like over a year and a half ago. And it's, it's still going strong. I have it all the way, or no, what's it at right now? I'm going to put it up to 30, which is like, I don't know what that technically is, like what heat setting that is, but it's the highest heat setting on this little guy, which probably isn't great for my hair, but we're going to, just going to do it. So now I'm going to go through and just kind of touch up my curls. I'm going to be really loose about it just because I already did tight, tight curls yesterday and they've since fallen out and this is what is left and they did already have hairspray in them yesterday. So what I'm going to do, just because I have pretty thick hair, I'm going to take this bottom section and I'm going to break it up into another section just because I find that this section here never curls very well 
Um, it's just like really long and heavy. So I'm going to take this and another little clip and just kind of twist it into itself and clip it like that. And now I have like a really manageable amount of hair and I'm just going to break this up into three sections. So like one on the side, one on the side, and then this much in the back. For my bottom layer, I always curl away from my face. And I'm only gonna hold it for, I don't know, five to 10 seconds. And I leave like this much of the end out. And I do the same to the other side. And then it doesn't really matter which direction you curl the back piece in. Okay, so these have cooled and I've just kind of like pulled them apart a little bit. And now because I get the greasiest, yum, um, like right here at the roots of my hair. So I'm going to take some dry shampoo. Um, my go-to is the Batiste Big and Bouncy XXL Volume. And um, I pretty much tried all of the Batiste dry shampoos and this is my favorite. And I'm just going to kind of like spray that at the root. And then I'm just going to take my fingers and just kind of work it into the roots here. Like so. <laughs> I'm going to move on to this section of hair here. And I'm just going to repeat the exact same thing. So I'm going to break it into three sections. So I have this section here, this section here, and then one here. So for now, I'll pin these two guys back up. And I'll take this guy, just comb it through really quickly, and again, curl away from my face. And because this is like a layer, like not the top layer of hair, I'm gonna curl it, like twist the curling iron all the way into the root, or as far as I can at least, and I'm still leaving a little bit out. That new beautiful curl, and I'm just gonna let it hang there and cool while I do those other two pieces. Okay, so now that those three curls have cooled, and this guy right here, um, I'm just going to like really gently separate them. And again, I'm going to take that same dry shampoo and just focus it at the roots. And I try not to use a ton of dry shampoo. And again, I'm just going to massage that in with my fingers and kind of almost like massage it into the root and then I kind of like drag it through that curl. Now for the top layer. And I actually don't have much hair, much more hair to work with now that I've done all of that stuff on the bottom. So on this side I only have this little chunk to work with. And on this side I only have this much to work with. So I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna clip this stuff back up again really loosely though because I get kinks in my hair really easily. Probably because it's so fried. <laughs> so I have this little piece of hair now and I'm going to start with the section, like the, the bits that are further back. <laughs> and just kind of go from my part and section off a piece like this. I'm just gonna comb it through with my finger. Oh, I have part of this curl stuck in it. Like that, and again, I'm gonna take my curling wand and I'm gonna hold it out like this. Put my curling wand near the root and curl away from my face. Wrap it around. I'm leaving a little bit of hair out at the end here. And just personal preference, I'm curling this tight to the root because I enjoy a lot of volume. Like that. I'm just going to let it hang there and cool. And I'm going to do the same thing to this piece, just curl it away from my face. Like so. And I know it looks a little crazy. I'm going to let those just cool.
cool like that. I'm not gonna touch them and I'm gonna move on to this side now. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just going to work my way forward in little sections from the back and I just kind of grab them really haphazardly. Like this doesn't require a lot of precision. So for example, like I'll take this chunk and I'm just going to recurl it. You'll notice though that on this side, just because I have such a deep part, I'm not curling all the way to the root because that would just make me look crazy. So I'm starting the curl like halfway down and I'm always curling away from my face. So that's that curl and I'm just going to toss that back there to cool and then continue working my way to the front. Okay, so this is my last section of front hair. Okay, and now I'm just going to let this cool as well, and I will be right back with you. Okay, so these are pretty much cooled down now. Yeah, and I'm looking a little bit crazy. It's a little too perfect ringlety for me. Um, I am not going to use any hairspray today. I normally only hairspray my curls on day one and maybe on day three. Um, but today, all I'm going to do is put that dry shampoo at the roots, kind of at the base of my head. Um, since it's only day two, I don't really need dry shampoo anywhere else, I don't think. What I'm going to do now is just flip my head over and gently tousle my curls. And just kind of sort it out with my fingers. The other thing I'll say is that I know my hair pretty well and this will loosen over the next hour or so as well. So it won't be quite this, this big and bouncy. Oh, I will show you though, this is the hairspray that I uh, live and die by. I swear by this, it's the Marc Anthony Nourishing Argan Oil of Morocco Extra Hold Fast Drying Hairspray with Keratin. That is a mouthful, but it smells so good. This is the best smelling hairspray. Really, really lovely. It does linger though, so. Whoop. And I'm just dropping and breaking everything. It does linger, like I can still smell this hairspray on my hair today, even though I used it yesterday. But yeah, um, if you're looking for a new hairspray from a drugstore that is super effective and doesn't smell like crap, <laughs> I would highly recommend trying that. Now for today, this is pretty much all I'm gonna do. I do though want to try and hide some of my dry ends. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the Marc Anthony again. I love Marc Anthony brand from the drugstore. Um, Nourishing Argan Oil of Morocco Hair Oil. I'm gonna take two full pumps and just like really massage it into my hands to warm it up. And this stuff smells really nice too. And then I'm just gonna take my fingers and kind of work them through the ends of my hair. Yeah, I really like that hair oil. It just adds like a little bit of shine to my dry, dry, dead ends. and <laughs> um, just makes them a little bit bouncier, a little bit more, I don't know, they have like a little bit more of like a natural movement to them. If you're like me and you have very overprocessed hair, you'll know that that is the real struggle is to make it look like your hair is actually still hair and not just brittle, brittle straw. Yeah, so I think that's, I mean, that's all I'm going to do today. It's probably, I'll do the exact same thing tomorrow, which will be day three hair. <laughs> day three hair <laughs> tomorrow. Um, I'll just use a little bit more dry shampoo kind of on the top layers of my hair, I think. And normally I'll take like a little clip and just kind of clip back this layer just because I don't like all my hair in my face all the time. Yeah, this is pretty much how I wear my hair every single day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned a couple tips and tricks. And if you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. That would be amazing. Um, I'm super happy to have you here. And um, yeah, leave a comment down below if you have any other hair related videos you wanna see from me or any other video you might potentially want me to make. I'm very open to suggestions.